There are a lot of complex finger joint jigs out there. There's also some commercial options that cost a fair bit of money. We've made videos about them in the past. But today we're going to keep things cheap and simple for folks who don't cut enough finger joints to justify a more complex jig. If you want something you can make with a couple scraps in a couple minutes that's simple to use and works flawlessly every time, then this video is for you. We're going to make a fast and easy box joint jig and I'll show you how to use it. Now you probably have all the materials you need for this in your scrap bin right now. This is a piece of plywood that's roughly a foot long and maybe five inches wide. It's getting attached to a table saw miter gauge with screws. Of course, it's important to be sure the miter gauge is set to 90 degrees, and also check that the fence you just attached is perpendicular to the top of the saw. If not, some tape may be used to shim it. Keep in mind that even though I'm using a table saw, you can do exactly the same thing on a router table with a miter slot. A straight router bit will work just as well as a table saw dado set will. Now raise your dado set, or router bit, as high as it is wide. For example, if you're making quarter inch box joints, your dado set or router bit should be a quarter inch thick and it should be raised a quarter inch above the top of the saw. Use it to cut a single kerf in your plywood fence. Now you'll want to fit a strip of wood into that kerf. Here, we thought the strip that we made on the table saw was exactly a quarter inch wide, but it turned out to be a little loose. So instead of making a whole new strip, we just added some tape to the side and made it a little bit wider. Then super glue was used to secure it in the kerf quickly. Now unscrew the plywood fence and shift it away from the dado set a distance equal to the width of that strip of wood. Here we're using a quarter inch brass setup block, but we could have just used a piece of that same wooden strip with the same piece of tape on the side and it would work just as well. Now cut a second kerf in the plywood fence and the jig's done. Here's how it works. We've got two pieces of wood that must be joined together to make a corner. Place the first one with its edge against the wood strip and make a cut. Set it aside for a moment and align the edge of your second piece with the edge of the open kerf in your jig's fence. Make another cut. Now retrieve the first piece and place its kerf over your wooden strip. Layer the second piece in front of it with its edge against the strip so it's offset with the piece behind it. Make another cut. Then shift both pieces toward the strip using your newest kerf to index their position and continue making cuts stepping both pieces to the left. I'll bet dollars to donuts that the fit comes out perfectly. If it doesn't, the problem was most likely that you didn't properly shift the fence over to its second position. But like I said, this simple jig is pretty hard to mess up. Enjoy. Rich Carbide is the best cut secret in woodworking. I kid you not, their saw blades are second to none, both in quality and performance, and they're less expensive than the other ultra premium brands. Do yourself a favor, use the link and the discount code below this video. You will never go back to cheap blades again. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.